Hello, everybody. It's John with my 10-minute movie review, Indian Cinemaniac Edition. Today's movie, now, uh, the last one we did, we did Ganjini, was based on the viewer poll. Uh, this one, the poll is in progress, so I will not know what the next film is. So let me just give you a heads up on that. But today's movie that I am reviewing is one that a lot of you have told me to watch. And, uh, you, you know, based on my tastes, you guys said I would like this. And it's the 2012 Barfi. Uh, it was directed and written by Anurag Basu. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Stars uh, Ranbir Kapoor. Priyanka Chopra Jones, who I am familiar with from Quantico here in the U.S., and I am sad to say I did not know it was her for about the first 15 minutes. I had no idea. I think it was that horrendous wig they gave her. Um, but I was uh, when I realized who it was, I couldn't believe it because you know, um, I mean, this was obviously 2012, and you look at her now, can't believe it's the same person, uh, Alina De Cruz. And Sarb, Sarb Shukla. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this movie was uh, very surprising to me. It had a uh, Forrest Gump being there vibe for the central character, Barfi, brilliantly played by Kapoor. And um, here's the thing about me in this movie i am a huge silent film fan uh in fact buster keaton to me is the greatest of all the silent film comedians how much do i like buster keaton let me just show you something that's right that's my official buster keaton hat um so as i started to realize one that this basically is a silent film and two the director um reveres the silent comedians and classic cinema because there's also references to singing in the rain so as i was watching this movie i was into it but i was also looking for all the little tributes to the silent films and uh classic films and what I found amazing about this movie was, and why I appreciated it, where we rely so he as I watch all these Indian movies, I rely so heavily on the subtitles. And you know that sometimes the subtitles don't translate exactly what's being said in whatever language it might be. Um, this movie, the subtitles were a very small part of this film because most of it's in silence. So those performances where it's more visual, more facial than anything else, I just found, I just found amazing because, because actors have to, you know, they use dialogue to get emotion across. Um, and it's much harder to do when you can't. And it makes me appreciate those performances even more, especially the two leads, um, um, you know, um, Kapoor and uh, Chopra. That doesn't undermine the other performances, but really, it, it, the film is about those two. I mean, it even starts off, uh, you know, you don't even know what's going on. An old man's taking a selfie and he keels over. Not dead. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers, by the way, but it's 2013. So most everyone's seen this movie. So, um, so then he's getting away from the cops and they do this ladder gag, right? And I went, oh my God, Buster Keaton, cops. I, I couldn't believe it. So then I'm I'm looking for more, and and then there's a there's a scene where he gets what he thinks is a car, and he gets in front of it, and he thinks he's going to get hit, and it ends up two motorcycles. That's out of hard hard luck, Keaton's hard luck. And then the famous, and again, I don't even know how uh, Keaton did it, but uh, when Barfy grabs the car and it yanks him, that's that's from cops also from Keaton. So it it made me appreciate the physical comedy. Uh, they even, even the music sounded like silent movie music, you know. So, so to me, that's what 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 it was about. And then there's the scene where they pull the sheet off the statue, and there's Barfy Barfy uh, sleeping there. That's uh, City Lights, Charlie Chaplin. Um, it was just amazing. And then then 
they do the door gag and i know i'm bouncing all over the place but i was so excited to see this stuff the door gag where he's got the sliding doors that's charlie chaplin and the adventurer uh, and and my favorite musical of all time is singing in the rain and when they did the face gag which donald o'connor did and also the couch gag with the dummy that's from make them laugh from singing in the rain i was i couldn't believe it so it made me love this movie so much more um as far as the plot goes it's it's a simplistic plot it's about love and how you don't need words to um to show someone that you love them and that even people that aren't considered and i you know i'm going to use the word normal and but you know because she's definitely autistic i i think i think she's got autism he's uh he can't hear or he can speak but barely and he barely speaks in this movie that um that people find each other and and love conquers all in that last scene where uh, he finally finds her and and he's throwing the shoe up and she's not sure if she wants to you know let him know that she's there and and when when the woman that loves him and kind of gave him up in the beginning I'm not doing a very good job on the plot, but I'm just telling a scene stuck in my head. That scene where she sees her at the window, but he can't, he doesn't know she's there because he can't hear. She's yelling, Barfy, Barfy. And all of a sudden, the, uh, the woman whose eyes are uh, um, a de Cruz's, she's got these big brown eyes, beautiful. And they're watering up because she realizes how much, even though she loves him, he loves her and they're meant to be together and she looks up at the window and he turns around and that's when they get back together and, and then it you know then it flashes back to the to the their wedding and all this other stuff but there were some great scenes in it and i'll tell you that's one of the scenes that really st stood out for me Un not not being deaf not understanding it was when he was upstairs in his loft and he's looking up at the ceiling and his father has a, a stroke or something. He had a kidney issue. And he's on the ground writhing, and he's flashing a light to get his attention. But he, he can't see the light, and he doesn't know. And it, it's shot with Barfy in the foreground and the father below writhing. And you think about that, and I was like, I, you can't even imagine what that must be like in reality, right? So that, that scene really stuck out for me. But But just the... The character of Barfy is just a joyous character. Um, you know, he, he gets hurt along the way, but, but he's trying to do the right thing. And it's, it's very funny. It's a very funny, and the, the lead cop in it was funny. Uh, Barfy keeps getting around him, and it's, he's frustrated, but he's, it's, it's not like this brutal cop stuff you see in a lot of these movies. And he ends up the one that's really on his side. It's just a beautiful movie. If you believe in love, if you believe in the goodness of people, um, I think this is a movie you're really going to enjoy. Um, I think this is a movie I've recommended a few movies to my uh, family and friends that trying to get them on this Indian movie kick. And one of them I just did with like stars on earth, um, the Amir Khan movie about the dyslexic boy. And I just let someone watch that. And they called me after bawling their eyes out um because of that ending well i think this movie is like that um the way it makes you feel now i do have one criticism of the movie only one okay because i really i really did love this movie the old age makeup and wigs were just horrible like like they didn't even take any time because all they did was powder up a wig and not put any makeup on them i mean barfy they gave him some wispy white hair but the, the women, uh, that was, I mean, if you're going to do that, age them up a little bit, you know, because they, they, they've stood up. By, by the end of the movie, they had, they've had these long lives. But that's my, that's my only criticism of it. So absolutely uh, was enchanted by this movie. Uh, that lead actor, I, I don't know if I've seen him anything else. I think he was in one of the movies I, I've watched on the main show. Um, but he was, what he did with his eyes and, and, was amazing and again the the tribute to all those silent movies i i was it almost got a little distracting because i i kept looking for it 
And I don't mean that as a criticism. I loved it. It just showed. And again, that's why I, I you, you look at, uh, uh, you know, people like Buster Keaton. Most people know Charlie Chaplin, right? Most but of a certain age, you don't know who Buster Keaton is. And Buster Keaton is one of the most brilliant, not only comedians, but filmmakers of that era. And the tributes that were paid in this movie just made me smile the whole way through. I want to thank you so much for recommending this film. I just absolutely loved it. Um, so anyway, that's my review. Now, again, I don't have my next pick because I'm going to do that in a, in a um, community poll. Uh, one other thing I will tell you on this, people have been saying that they're not getting notifications. I did a little research on that. You have to have the YouTube app on your phone, not through the computer, and you have to have the notifications, all notifications turned on, or you may not get it. I don't know why. I mean, I don't really understand it, but that's what they say on, on YouTube. So if you want them all, you have to turn them on, okay? And again, I hope you will do that. I hope you'll subscribe, and I hope you'll hit the like button because it really does make a difference. So uh, I don't know what the movie's going to be. Maybe I'll announce it in a little short video that I'll put up here at the end of the poll. But uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching this and uh, the main show, uh, and we will talk to you soon.